<laughs> Cookies of Keebler. You ate them. You finished them. You put the box back into the fridge. Geeks of the Week, Steph and the Sunday Geek were getting cozy. Bro, did you even shirk? I'm going to eat more cookies, then we're going to see what's what and who's who. And if I had the physique for it, I would totally cosplay Body Pillow Winter Soldier. Pyro, we miss you. Come back. I'm eating all sorts of baked goods because I am boycotting pie until you return. The things I do for this channel. Lulu, how can you say that about the X-Men? How can you not care? This might be the summer of Stucky for you, but I am Team Charrot. That is the shipping of Charles and Eric. And I too am looking forward to the World Cup. I have Mexican family, so it should be fun. Ole, 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 ole. Nikki, I was so stoked for you for being trapped inside a Dalek. At this point, everybody knows what a Whovian you are, so I can only imagine how flipping cool that was and how happy that made you. And stop, stop trying to make me cry. Mm -mm. Not cool. I recently binge watched All of Orphan Black, where my class shirt in honor of it, so I decided why not review the first season. This will be spoiler free, no spoilers. Instead of telling you the premise of the show, let me tell you the first scene and try to hook you in. Imagine you're at a subway station, waiting for the train, when a person who looks identically like you steps in front of you. You see each other for a moment, and before you can say anything, they jump in front of the train. This is what happens to Sarah Manning, and of course she does what any of us would have done, impersonate the person that looked like you and try to figure out what's going on. I don't want to spoil anything for you, but you'll be able to guess what element of the show is science fiction. It's relatively easy to guess, and they don't really try to hide it from you. I love the type of sci-fi show this is. Usually it's set way into the future where these technological advancements are the norms. Orphan Black set in the present. Because of that, it really magnifies the theme they're discussing. I'll also say it's part mystery, because in the beginning, you don't know how they did what they did, or why and you'll need a scorecard to keep track on who's on whose side. The entire cast does a superb job, but the unquestioned star of the show is Tatiana Mussolini. She plays Sarah Manning. I can't even really go into detail on why she's so great, because it would involve spoilers, but take my word for it, she's incredible. I don't know how British television works, but she has to be winning awards for her performance. Gots to. This is the type of show I feel anyone could get into. You don't have to be crazy into science fiction to enjoy it, but it doesn't hurt. It quickly became one of my jams. I thank Nikki for recommending it. I owe her another. And its first season grade is a solid A. Comic books call in to the faraway geek. Not war is the cloud. Time for the comic book reviews. I'm going to kick things off with Loki Ages of Asgard issue 5. Written by Al Ewing, or by Lee Garbage. Trickster God Loki has been going on missions for the All-Mother, and at the conclusion of this arc, he breaks into the Asgardian dungeon because they're hiding something. What can it be? Thor's yearbook picture? I don't know. This has been an excellent series. Loki's been the right amount of mischievous and cool. Then you have solid supporting characters like Verity Willis, who I like right away. Great artwork. It is the end of the arc, so it's not a good jumping on point right now, but you could catch up. It's going to go on hiatus until September, so no excuses. I read the issue 4 out of 5. Next, Green Arrow issue 32, written by Jeff Lemire, art by Andre Sorrentino. And this is the start of a new arc, as the Emerald Archer, you guys remember that nickname? Ah, the old names. Anyways, Green Arrow's back in town, and what does he have waiting for him? An all-out gang war. That's a bad welcome home gift. They couldn't get him a blender? Ever since Jeff Lemire and Andre Sorrentino got on this title, they've been kicking ass. Lemire's writing is engaging as always. Sorrentino's artwork is a thing to behold. It is a crime he wasn't nominated for a nicer this year. Now that I've been watching CW's Arrow, I can't say if you enjoy that, you will definitely like this. 
but it only limits run on Green Arrow. I rate the issue four and a half out of five. Finally, my pick of the week, five weapons issue nine. Written in art by Jimmy Robinson. Enrique Garcia goes to an assassin school known as the School of Five Weapons. No one likes him because he doesn't use any weapons to beat them, but only his intelligence. This is one of the comics I swear by. I'm starting to push on people because I love the message of not solving all your problems with violence. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's violence in this comic, but it's nothing crazy or off the wall. Imagine Sherlock Holmes in high school, only all students are armed to the T. So Sherlock Holmes goes to public school. This is a great series. There's no reason you shouldn't be picking it up, and I rated 5 out of 5. I, I have some extra time? Good news, guys. Bonus round in the comic book reviews. I'm going to quickly touch upon some comics you should skip this week. Action Comics issue 32. I dislike the whole Doomsday storyline, it's lame. Worst of all, it's messed up the flow of Action Comics, which has been excellent ever since Greg Pot took over. My advice, skip the whole Doom thing, you're not missing much, but jump back on board onto Action Comics after the whole Doom thing is over, especially if you like Superman. Battling in Channel issue 9. Bad artwork? That first panel with Catwoman in it? The human body doesn't contort like that, it was basically a crotch shot. The storyline still has potential, but it needs to get back on track soon. Skip it, I'll let you know if it turns around. That's it for me. Remember to subscribe to us, like all our things, check out the other better looking geeks, and by that, of course, I mean the body pillow, and fare thee well.